Hey, how you doing guys? I'll probably go this way, but how you doing guys? It's me, Hodge. Hope you're well. Hope you're having an amazing day today, guys. As you can see, guys, I'm going just going for a little walk today, and um, I thought I'd spend it with you guys. But well, if you can't see me that clearly, I apologise. There you go. How's that, guys? But um, we've got, as you can see, guys, we've got the music going, and uh, we're here, guys, making this happen. Um, guys, I just want to first, I want to start by saying thank you for the amount of subscribers that we've got now. We have done so well. We've managed to get to 840 sub 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 subscribers. I want to just expl go explain a little bit of backstory on how this came about, guys. How I managed to, you know, build it up to where it is right now. So three weeks ago, um, I thought, well, let's go. I'm going to go back a little bit more than that, guys. I want to go back to the point where I thought, right, I want to do something. Um, I, I'm into crypto, as you probably know, and I've been into crypto for some time now. It's a lovely today, isn't it? And it's an amazing day, guys. Well, I'm yeah, having a lovely I'm day. <laughs> guys, yeah, I should start dancing over a dancer. Everyone else seems to be dancing. But, um, I've got that sunshine right in my face, guys. How is that? So, yeah, as you probably know, guys, I've been into crypto for a little while now. For those people who don't know what crypto stands for, it's cryptocurrency. You may have heard of Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum, Litecoin, um, Dogecoin. So you may have heard of those coins. So, and of course, you may have heard of the proof of schemes as well, which are another story in themselves. But um, so yeah, I mean, I got into crypto in 2000 and just at the end of 2013. So in 2013, start of 2000, January 2014, I bought my first Bitcoin in January 2015. 14, sorry. And um, I bought Dogecoin at the time as well. So I got myself a whole bunch of Dogecoin. And then I kind of just left it really, left the space alone. And in many ways, I wish I hadn't have. I wish I'd have stayed in that space. Because of course, guys, we all know that what happened after that, you know, I didn't, I, at the time in 2014, when I started, I thought, right, I'm going to hold some of this stuff. But of course, you need your savings to really, I was, I was looking into mining at the time. But I decided that probably mining, it, um, I thought was a bit too complicated. If I go this way, guys, we might not get the sun in our eyes as much. What do you reckon, guys? No? I think maybe this way, guys. That's better. So I thought, guys, yeah, um, I thought I'd probably consider mining. But really, I didn't go into mining because it was just way too complicated for me to get into. I watched a few videos and I thought, right now, I'm probably going to end up just buying these coins. So I decided to buy them, and um, then I thought, what am I going to do? I can't keep buying, buying, buying. I can't sell these things. What are they good for? And of course, back then, a lot of other coins came out. So I thought, right, I'm going to hold what I've got, and then I'm going to leave the space alone. And um, so I kind of left the space from then. And, and and then I just really forgot all about it. 2015 rolled, rolled up, didn't go back into crypto. 2016 came up didn't go back into crypto 17 and it's only in December 2017 when um, I the spike in December happened in the crypto space um, and I thought to myself wow because up until then it had been pretty flat nothing really was happening I thought anyway but believe you me a lot was happening but um, it just wasn't I didn't see it at the time because like I said I came out of the space now of course looking back all of us I think had plenty of chances and opportunities to get our hands on some crypto back in those days you know ethereum at one dollar which now is trading at 800 and something dollars so you know it would have been a phenomenal return on many occasions but at the same time i did have reasons why i left the space as well because i had to focus on other projects which as you probably know about me i do things 100 percent i go all in or all or, or don't do it at all so um i left the space and i focused on something else now in a way, I'm glad that I did focus on something else because it gave me the time to really develop other ideas, which I probably may have did not have developed had I stayed in the crypto space. Now, of course, so I'm not going to, I don't look back at it and thinking, right, okay, I wish I'd continued in that space because I really don't mind actually. 
not continuing in that space. But what I can say is that um, 2000, 2018 came and the, the, I was back in the marketplace. And I wish I hadn't have left it because some of the pr projects that I wanted to do really took a long time to build. And I'm, and I'm great that I've got those. And now I've got this crypto as well. And now I'm looking, do, doing the two side by side. So I'm really happy that I can um, do the two side by side, which is amazing now. I mean, in, in that sense, I'm a really, really good place like that. But um, yeah, so um, so then what happened was, um, then this crypto thing, guys, I really realized this thing I should have, as a libertarian who believes in individual freedom and believes that, you know, we should, have the right to make all make our own decisions and of course the government doesn't allow us to do any of that really i thought as a libertarian there's one thing i can do in politics trying to change government but then i realized that is never ever ever going to happen i'd really i hate government i want nothing to do with it whatsoever so i thought right okay i'm gonna knock that on the head and do something which i think you know life is just way too short so I thought, right, I'm going to do something which hopefully should mean, for me, um, something more. And, and I can also make sure I can look after myself as well. So in that sense, that got me into crypto. Back into crypto. So I started off back into crypto thinking, okay, let me first of all re-educate myself into this space. Because as you know, guys, it's been, it's, been a, it's been a big learning curve again, getting back into crypto. Sorry if you can't see my face, guys, I do apologise. It's the sun, it's just beautiful day to day. It's an amazing day, but I think this, the fact is you just can't, there, how is that guys? We've got a... So yeah guys, um, I um, started to really start to think about crypto again and started to think where can I really make a difference? So I started to buy some Ethereum. I have now got a whole basket of coins. I mean, literally a lot of them. Some of them are shit coins. Some of them are really good coins, of course, BTC, Ethereum, Ripple. I've gained quite a few. I mean, I don't want to, you know, and I've sold quite a few as well, but I intend to hold and build as time goes on as well. And um, But of course, you've only got so much resources available to you, so there's only so much you can actually do with what you've got. So one of the things that were important to me was really trying to spread the word of crypto. I really wanted to see if I can get that message out there and really try to get as many people in board on board with crypto so realizing that actually the key to a lot of this is youtube there's a lot of youtubers out there hey how you doing mate hey yeah good thanks mate <laughs> there you go guys man i should have maybe go have a go on the boat as well eh <laughs> but um yeah so guys um that's how it developed in that sense i thought Right, okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to try to look at developing something in this space and um, and really try to build what I've got right now in and just there's so and there's so much opportunity.